Hello and welcome to uh, episode 17 of my Let's Play series. Episode 17. That's a lot of episodes. Just logging in today, and I'm going to probably go and research some more stuff, because I think we've fleshed out all that we can currently in our Thaumonomicon, so we need to go and research a little bit more and uh, pick up what we can. And our uh, farming golems have been doing really, really good. They've been making sure that this all farmland has been all nice and, uh, nice and, uh, you know, harvested. You can see. Every now and then I come back and, you know, pick up the stuff that I can. However, they do not pick up flax. But that's okay because I have way too much flax that I don't know what to do with. I also moved my chickens to a different area because those wood golems would come in here and and the uh, chickens would escape. But now since the chickens aren't in here because they produce eggs. Yeah. So I moved my chickens over here in this little, uh, used to be a little water pit. And now they're just all hanging out right there. Maybe I should put up a wood golem right there too. Get myself all the free eggs that I can. For research, of course. Now, let's get down to the research. What can we put here in this table to research? Hmm. Let's go with paper. Yeah, let's see what we can do with paper. Especially since we get so much of bonus. Oh, well. Well, we already have knowledge. Worded stone and doors. Hmm. Stone and doors. Well, it would need whatever a stone door would have. Which I think it has modus in it. Yeah. Let's try modus. And control. Yeah, there you go. We have both of them there. There we go. Rubber. You're so useful. Random experiments has led to an interesting discovery. The ability to imprint memories in inanimate objects. Your first attempt at using discovery is blocks and doors that remember who placed them. Ooh. Well, it says worded stone, so maybe it requires stone. Nope. Hmm. Maybe magic. Let's try magic. Got some of these dull shards, which I have no idea what to do with. Well, that didn't help. Guess we'll go with the Great Logs. Oh, it doesn't require magic. Or wood. Hmm. What else can we do? Maybe crafting tables? Nope, not crafting tables. Metal. Uh, iron. Let's try metal. Nope. Hmm. Instrument? Nope. Not instrument. Hmm. What else goes into making that door? Let's make ourselves some doors. Some iron doors, because that's what I have currently. Mechanism. Yeah, we could try mechanism. Let's try mechanism. Ah, uh, yeah. Pretty sure that goes into it. Yeah, it does. We also need armor. Now it's gonna go into my leather stockpile that I have. There we go. Got ourselves some warded stone and doors. Ooh. These stone blocks are almost unbreakable to anyone except the person who placed them. Ooh. What is more, they are highly resistant to explosions. They come in a variety of colors to... to please even the most fashion-conscious thaumaturge. Sweet. 
Need some uh, brain, a piece of dye, which will color. Ooh, I get 32 of them. Sweet. Some stone, and then those arcane stone blocks. Do I have any more of those? Yes, I do. Ourselves a brain. And some regular stone, which I might have in here, but I do not. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself some. Let's get ourselves. Do I have an ink sacks here? Nope, of course not. Rain. Why do you always why do you always have to cut in? Let's see. I wanna make myself some black ones. Yeah. Those would be nice and evil. I also have some stone. And probably... Oh, I was needing some more flint back over there. Flint. Oh, sorry, little guy. Oh, yes. I was also going to talk to you guys about lost fragments. Uh... To get these uh, knowledge fragments, you have to find a villager that has that is a uh, a mage. You can trade some emeralds for these knowledge fragments, or you can also find them in dungeon chests or even in the uh, village chests that the mage tower has. Luckily, I was able to get myself nine. And if you put nine over here in a crafting table, you get yourself a research, a uh, unknown research theory, which I'm gonna grab right now and place them right here. And then I'll research that once I make this. Get ourselves some stone, a zombie brain, and an ink sack. Cool. Warded stone. Now from what I heard was right, I can place them. Ooh man, those things are really, really black. Sweet. Now if I had somebody else here on this uh on this uh playthrough uh, they wouldn't be able to break this stuff as fast as I could. See how fast I can do it? And they're pretty resistant. But if, uh, if somebody else tried to uh, mine it, it would, it would take longer than obsidian with your hands. On any kind of tool. Which is uh, a, a lot of time. What are you doing standing up there? I have no idea what you're doing. I said I could also make doors. So how do I make those? Oh, there's another page. Warded door. A zombie brain, two thomium, and an iron door. Need some cognito, machina, and imperito. Okay. Let's go make ourselves one of those. Iron. Get ourselves an iron door. Now also gonna need to get some thomium. Ooh, thomium. How do I make one? how do I make those? I already forgot. Yes, eight iron and four magic. So throw in make ourselves two. That is seven. Mm. Be fourteen twenty eight. I'd have some left over. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do these one at a time to make sure that we get all the uh, the bad stuff out that we're going to be making. Now, I could have sworn that there was some other stuff. Oh, you know what? I could probably use magic tallow instead. Let's make ourselves some magic tallow. No, because then... Yeah. We'll just use this. Or how about these shards? These shards has quite a bit. I'm debating. Yeah, I'm just going to throw in eight of these great wood logs. Probably not the most efficient, but... Eh. 
That should get us our four magic that we need and our eight iron. We'll have a bunch of a uh, this uh, tree left over, but our uh, thanes can handle it if I can throw that in right. There we go. And we'll have some twenty-eight left over. Out of the way, sir. There we go. Now we just need our wand. Yeah, we got four right there. Yeah. Go get yourself some more water. We got ourselves one thomium. Now with this, he should be able to pick up all of it. Yeah. Oh, I already got a lot of that tree stuff. Why do you gotta go over there? Hmm. Look at him go. Go, golem, go. Haha, <laughs> neat. It requires one of these, two thomium, and a zombie brain. Luckily I got a bunch of those. Also gonna need Machina, Imperito, Incognito. Cognito I can get from paper. 2-2, two, two, so I'm also going to need to throw in two reeds to offset that. Reeds, where are you? So that's two extra ones. Then we can all we'll have a third one. So I'm going to need four, I think, of mechanism. And then we'll also have some Imperito. Hmm. Where else can I get Imperito? from. Do I have a little thane for it? No, because otherwise it would start activating. Yeah. Hmm. Now I think levers have a good... Oh no, it has a bunch of stuff on it. E. Sticks. Sticks have one. I could throw in four levers, and that would do it. But then we're also left with this fractus and some stone, and then this tree. I could throw in four U. And for you. We have to throw that in at the end. Hmm, now this is a predicament. Is there another way I can get this Imperito? Without creating any flux. Hmm. I don't think there is. Unfortunately. Oh well. We'll take a chance. We throw in this stuff. Might have to get myself a second Crucible. So we'll have our mechanism, and then our Cognito. I'm also going to need Imperito. We'll throw it all in. And then we'll see what happens. Because that'll get us our four. What happened to my... Oh. Landed in here. Because it didn't fall in. As our eight mechanism, yeah. Now you can see we're gonna get three extra ones from this, and they don't draw from this, unfortunately. So I just can't have them there in the uh, in the thing. We'll throw in. Yeah, if we just throw in four levers, 
That'll do it, and then the rest will just get transferred out into the atmosphere. I don't have any more fractus. I guess I could save one more of them. Oh well. Well, I'll be adding a bunch of flux, but that's okay. It's not, you know, horrible amounts of flux. There we go. Oh. There's some fractus in here that I didn't really want. I was expecting, uh, something else to go there. I guess we'll just have to break it. I think it's dumped out into the atmosphere. That's okay. Now this arcane door, again, if I was playing with anybody else, only I can open it, and if anybody else tried to open it, they wouldn't be able to. How you doing, skeleton? Throw that one in there, too. Now, let's get on to some... this unknown theory. And research it. Doesn't require any of that. Or that. Just go down the list. How about a bow? Hmm. Doesn't require any of that. Armor? I was looking to get rid of these anyway. I think I already tried stone, yep. I hear a skeleton's dying outside. How about some gravel? Nope. I need to get rid of that gravel, but... Soul sand? Nope. Obsidian? Nope. How about wool? No. Hmm. Glass? Oh, it definitely needs glass. Lots of glass. Crystal clusters. Hmm. About uh, transmutation. Yeah. Or permutatio. Hmm. Requires probably magic. Let me throw in some magic. Maybe control. Magic. Definitely requires magic. Hopefully with this we'll figure out. Come on. Hopefully with magic we'll be able to figure out what this last one is. Cognito. There goes all my great wood logs. <laughs> Uh, cognito paper. Paper, paper. There we go. Crystal clusters. There have been long standing rumors that the crystalline shards found in infused ore can be fused together into larger crystals. The texts you have found seem to confirm this. Cool. Crystal clusters. Ooh. Pretty. <laughs> you found a way to fuse crystal shards into larger, more suitable crystalline clusters. These crystals thumb with magical energy and are quite pleasing to the eye. Seems to have been able to slowly replenish nearby aura nodes, ooh, and even boost their vis levels above their normal baseline levels, to a limited degree. Of course, that will probably lead to flux buildup, but the benefits may outweigh the negative side effects. Ooh, now these seem pretty interesting. Oh, there's one that's multicolored, too. 
I might actually want to, you know, make myself some of these. Hmm. That seems really interesting. They're not very expensive either. I'll make myself two of them. I'm gonna need... Two of you. Two of you. Two. Two. And two. How does that go? Yellow, water, these. Yellow, water, these. I'm not sure if it's fire there and earth there. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, we're actually drawing in magic and permutato. So we had some magic and some of that. Now, it's, yeah, oh, some crystal. So we just need permutato, which we can get from eggs. Two eggs should do. I'm gonna need more glass, though. Didn't know I had magic, so I probably didn't. No, no, I. No, that's for a different recipe. That's right. Uh, what am I doing? Glass is in here. Get myself a couple panes. And some extra to, you know, to research. Wait. There we go. Oi. What are you doing? I'm just gonna ignore you. So, we're gonna need... two eggs in here. And that should get ourselves our first set. Yeah. Mixed crystal cluster. Now we're also gonna need... Some more eggs, and then eight panes. And we can throw the rest in here. Is it bubbling? Oh yeah. You guys are the bomb. Oi. Need to find an easier way to throw stuff in here. There we go. Get ourselves another set. Ooh, now these things look cool. I wonder what they look like. Can I place them on a ceiling? That'd look pretty cool. Hmm. Where do I want these? Yeah, on the ceiling would look nice from like here. Ooh! Fancy! Get ourselves another set. Ooh! -hoo. I have a nice sound effect too. Oh, they look cool. And I'm becoming quite a thaumaturge. Now let's go and research some more paper. Ooh. Definitely need more of this cognito. Brain in a jar. Jar, probably glass. Not glass. Hmm, I figured it would have been glass. Maybe... Magic. Let's try magic. Oh, I'm gonna go with these. These V shards. Oh no. What do I have a lot of? I have a lot of these earth shards. We'll also learn, you know, these other things too. Nope. Not magic. Hmm. Maybe if I researched brain in a jar or brains. Has this meat in my this death? Which can also be gotten from rotten flesh. Let's research that. Not that. Huh. I also had that evil aspect, which I can get from s heads. Oi! Okay, now you've become a problem. Luckily, with Vorpal, you can uh, get the enemy's heads, which I actually have a nice collection of from all the zombies that I've killed. So I'm gonna research some of these heads. Nom noms, and we're good. Oh, and then the soul too. The mallet, 
Malum, evil, the nether, and malice. Yep, definitely requires both of those. Also requires permutato. Uh, so we got ourselves some more eggs. Brain in a jar. Gathered rotten zombie brains for a while now, but with the discovery of warded jars, you think you may know a way to give them back a spark of life, or at least unlife. Neat. Neat. Brain in a jar. Ooh. Throw one rotten zombie brain into a jar. Add some spider eyes and water. Stir gently with your wand while you think, while thinking dark thoughts. <laughs> If all the rest be exactly, you should have a practically animated and fully malicious zombie brain. Retain some of the hunger possesses a zombie, and while it cannot consume brains, it'll enjoy eating the thoughts and experience of those slain nearby. Ooh. Giving this jar a good shake will make it surrender some of its ill-gotten gains for your own use. Ooh. <laughs> Even requires 66 feasts. Oh, that, that's hilarious. Let's get ourselves another warded jar, then. Or a couple, actually. I think I got two more arcane wood blocks. Oh, don't want to throw those back in. I want to throw those in. Get ourselves 14 panes. I think, I think that's how much I need. To get ourselves some more warded jars. And an extra one just in case. I'm also going to need some spider eyes as well. And a bucket of water, which I have on me. Spider eyes. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's see. It said zombie brains, some spider eyes, what a jar, and some water. I'm also gonna need some more of the, the, more of that cognito. Four to be exact. Now my head's here. Two. Gonna need two of each. Yep, two of that, and two of that. Yep. And I'll have 16 more of this death, and then more of this water and crop stuff. Which I haven't found a use for. There we go. Get ourselves a brain in a jar. Even gave me back my bucket. Fill that back up. Ooh, brain in a jar. This thing sounds creepy. Yeah, there you go. Huh, where to place this? I wonder if I can place it on my chest and it'll and it'll I can still access my chest. Ooh. That thing is creepy. <laughs> I can hit it. And I can still access my chest. Yeah. You're gonna sit right there. You're gonna watch over what I research. Isn't that right? Your name shall be called Steve. Steve. The uh, brain in a jar. Okay, Steve. Let's see what else we can research. Paper seems to lead to some quite interesting discoveries. Let's c continue to research it. Let me guess. Cognito? Ha. Huh. Who would have thunk? Advanced stone golem worker. Ooh. Advanced? I didn't know you can go to advanced. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need more rubber. Oh man, that requires a lot. It's weird that I'm already more than halfway done, though. Hmm. Then combining a normal stone golem with a brain in a jar, you might be able to create an intelligent and versatile golem. You only need a way to remember to temper the evil that may result from the jarred brain. Hmm. I'm guessing I'm going to need some refined iron. Because it has purus. Yep. You got purus. Is that you, Steve? Were you making that noise? Yeah, probably. Hmm. Maybe I need to research zombie brains? 
too. Because I know those aspects are on it. Hmm. I also called the stone golems. Maybe I need to research more stone, maybe? No? Earth? No? Hmm. Well, he is a tool, so... No? Maybe crafting table? No. Hmm. Maybe more of the shackle stuff? Nope. Maybe magic. Let's try magic. Um, maybe this? Let's try some fire shards. Nope. Okay, okay. Brain in a jar. Or zombie brain. No, because all I have is this magic them. I can research those heads. Because I have no real use for them besides, you know, decorating. It definitely requires a soul. Ah. Permutato. Of course. Man, you need that in a lot of research. I need more chicken eggs. Oh, chickens. I need some eggs. Yes, chuckle, chuckle. All you want. You aren't going to be getting out of that pit very soon. Or anytime soon. Advanced stone golem worker. Bam. Ooh. Upgraded stone golem. Oh, you already gotta have to take a smart one already. And put a brain in a jar on top of it. Haha. <laughs> nice. Placing a brain in a jar in a stone golem's head has led to a golem capable of much more complex thought pro thought processes. You may have succeeded too well, however, as the golem has shown a disturbing in independence. As a result, you think it, it's best not to outfit it with any animation cores that would grant it even greater power. It functions in a similar manner to a normal stone golem, except you have six slots from which to limit, items, to limit the items it pulls from its home inventory, and you can individually assign the color for each of those slots. Ooh. Now, so, now that sounds pretty good if I want to put up a sorting system. But unfortunately, I think this is a good, uh, you know, stopping point for this episode. So, I must, uh, you know, end this episode. So this is uh, Lunchbox, and I'm uh, signing off. Adios, and good night.